The Sui Tang Grand Canal is the world's only large engineering which was invested, dug, and managed by the country to achieve political stability and imperial unity by ensuring safe grain transportation. If looking at the Earth from the starry skies, you can see a 2,700-kilometer-long canal flowing between mountains and seas in the east part of the Asian continent. Now, it is the engineering which changed the physical geography most. It connects river systems in the east part of Asia, namely Haihe River, the Yellow River, the Huaihe River, the Yangtze River, and the Chantao River. It is the world's longest, oldest, and largest canal. On June 22, 2014, the Suitang Grand Canal, as an important constituent part of China's Grand Canal, was successfully enlisted into the World Cultural Heritage List and became the 46th World Heritage Site in China. The assessment report of the UNESCO World Heritage Committee points out that it represents the migration and movement of humans, the multi-dimensional reciprocity of commodities, thought, knowledge and value, the constant exchanges, and the exchange and mutual development of the produced cultures, despite time and space barriers. In 1971, a brick with an inscription Hanjia Granary unearthed from an ancient grain cellar in an archaeological site at the foot of Baimang Mountain in Luoyang shocked the archaeological circle. It not only confirms the definite position of Hanjia Granary, but also records the sources of grains in Hanjia Granary. According to records, Hanjia Granary was built in the first year of Daye period of Sui Dynasty when Emperor Yang of Sui built the east capital, Luoyang. Located in the east part of Luoyang, it supplied grains to officials and royal families in Luoyang. Hanjia Granary had more than 400 grain sellers. In the eighth year of the Tianbao period of the Tang Dynasty, the major large granaries of the country stored 12,660,000 don of grains in total. 5,380,000 don of the grains was stored in Hanjia Granary, accounting for one second of the grains. Later, the imposing Huilua Granary site was excavated in a place about three kilometers northeast of Hanjia Granary. According to records, Huilua Granary had a perimeter of five kilometers and consisted of 300 cellars. It was composed of more than 700 cellars, which were 10 meters in inner diameter, 17 meters in outer diameter, and about 10 meters in depth. Every cellar could store about 250,000 to 300,000 kilograms of grains. So the whole granary could store about 177,500,000 kilograms of grains. Now it is the largest known granary built in the Soi and Tang dynasties. It was because the Sui Tang Grand Canal was open to traffic that the Chinese culture and the outside world achieved multi-dimensional, multi-level extensive exchanges. As a key city along the Sui Tang Grand Canal, Luoyang became a bridge and hub connecting Central Asia and Europe at the starting point of the Silk Road. Sima Guang once said that the ancient Luoyang was the epitome of the rise and fall of past dynasties. Since the 18th CPC National Congress, Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee, has attached great importance to the work of protecting, inheriting, and utilizing the Grand Canal culture, and instructed that the Grand Canal should be protected by all regions along it, and the Grand Canal culture should be protected, inherited, and utilized. The General Office of the CPC Central Committee and the State Council General Office issued the Master Plan for Protecting, Inheriting and Utilizing the Grand Canal Culture and the Plan on Construction of National Culture Parks for the Great Wall, the Beijing Hangzhou Grand Canal and the Long March, which sounded the horn of building the Grand Canal Culture Belt. As a key city along the Grand Canal, Luoyang has strengthened the protection and utilization of cultural relics formulated the measures for the protection and management of the Grand Canal and the plan for protecting, 
inheriting and utilizing the cultural heritage of the Grand Canal, and completed the Suitang Grand Canal Culture Museum, the Granary Museum, and the National Grand Canal Culture Park to show the whole world. That with profound cultural heritage and ideal lifestyles, a new Luoyang is achieving revitalization on the new journey of modern construction. Today, the Suitang Grand Canal has already become a world famous wonder. She never disappeared, and also never aged. Integrated into the Chinese nation. She is in its prime now and is flowing into a bright future.